We've gathered help to fight the dragon, and we are to go to an area that is deep within Rimmergan's realm, which might make it difficult for us to keep our form. It is the place of entropy and final death, after all. Let's just hope these spirits that have agreed to help us will be of some use. The dragon's real name, I've always had a difficult time pronouncing properly. Nerus... Nerus Something like that. Not that it really matters, if I can't pronounce it correctly, though. I just feel a little silly not being able to say it correctly. But, in the end, names don't really matter. It's just, we have to do what we have to do, and that is to defeat the dragon. I do not trust Remorgand. It just seems to be his nature to not care and to do what he wants regardless of pacts or agreements. What does he care, though, when he believes that all things will die and come to him to be completely destroyed in the end anyway? An entity like that, who has never shown any compassion for those he gives a final death to, could simply just sit back and let it all come to him. He really doesn't have to do much of anything. In his mind, he's already won, and now is just waiting to reap the reward. Hmm. The quicker we are out of this realm, the better. In fact, the quicker we are done and off this island, the better. I have no love for the people or its heartless god. Well, it would seem that the only place left to go is to go in here after the dragon. So let's do it. Renhidair looks toward me with faintly burning eyes. You have girded yourself thoroughly in the determined souls of this place. You intend to go below. Will you help me below? The spirit frowns, a slight tick twisting the right corner of her mouth. Her nostrils flare. What's the problem? You've been fighting this dragon for hundreds of years. Why stop now? Especially when you have a chance to fully defeat it for the final time. I swore an oath. I must guard the way. So you have to remain at the entrance. What if we bring it to her, though? An oath all the more crucial, if you fail. <laughs> An oath you haven't really been able to keep since you can't defeat the dragon. It keeps defeating you. Yes, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. The Guardian nods and peers down into the hole. Once you descend, you will be much closer to the Void's heart. There's no returning from that place. Are you certain of your course? Certain enough. May the gods favor you. Give the beast a few new holes for me. I'm sure we will. Nerysirilus Lair. Prepare yourself for a tidal wave like none you have ever seen! Yes, it's all very interesting. And I hope that we have an actual chance of doing this. We've defeated this dragon before. We have help this time. But that doesn't mean it will... Yeah, it's big. Whew. The beast's blazing eyes glare down at me. Her spiritual presence beats upon my face like the heat from an open blast furnace. You came courting oblivion. Remarkable. Shrouded yourself in the souls of the dead, have you? I sense them clinging to you like snails to a stone. It matters not. Nothing matters. I shall claim your essence and use it to escape this place. Is that what you've been doing? Nothing matters. It sounds like this place has made you a part of it. Such cleverness, little kiss. It matters not what you do. My actions merit greater significance. Why are you doing this? Why wouldn't I? Would you not? Were you trapped here? If I had to live your existence, maybe I would just take the path of non-existence that Rimmergan offers. 
Would you not strive to escape this monotonous void? You again claim to be trapped here, but I fought you at Harbinger's Watch. You witnessed the pull of this place. I cannot escape its gravity. So you can leave for a time, then you're pulled back. Not without more essence. I've taken what I dare from the Echoes. Despite their resilience, they remain victims of this place. How do you propose to take my essence? In the Eldest Manor. Via consumption. Hmm. <laughs> the relic shall contain your spirit, shielding it against the white void. You shall survive, after a fashion. Which relic would that be? She waves a claw towards the object floating above the pedestal between me and the dragon. Palpable energy pulses from it. It's always the glowing ones that cause the trouble, ain't it? <laughs> Seems so, I dare. What? What is that thing? It's some artifact that she's been using to come to f escape Rimmergan's final death. I sense dozens, perhaps hundreds of minds contained within that. The anchor. It persists here, when all other things decay to dust. I came here for it, an object of such potency that it defies the deified. Defies the deified. Deified, not deific. You know when the truth... You know then the truth of the gods' creation. Obviously. My mother was older than your manufactured gods are now when she hatched me. Perhaps this could explain some of her contempt towards Remergand. Think you our kind oblivious to the workings of Kith? You sought a power to rival the gods. Why? My own protection. They destroy that which threatens their dominion as they did those who came before me. Yeah, they did, didn't they? As they would have you, had you not cast yourself into this void. Who did you mean by those who came before you? My elders. When I was yet young, three dragons of inimitable prowess ruled these seas. Interesting. So impressive were they that the gods enlisted them in defending their great working. The elders accepted, and then they vanished. The gods had betrayed them, entrapped them, murdered them. Hmm. Okay, a little bit of a different topic then. Do you know do you know how long you've been down here? The beast's nostrils flare as she arches her back, her wings flexing and twitching towards the tips. Years. Decades. It matters not. Try centuries. Centuries. The dragon drops to all four paws, her head bowing slightly. I expected a century, but not multiple. You sound tired. You sound small and edible. Have you considered taking the fight to Rimmergand? Do battle with the Beast of Winter? To what conceivable end? She leers at me. To be free of this place, to consume his essence, perhaps to become a god yourself? You would have me eat Remergand? To pluck him from the void as I might a heifer from a field? Why not? He's nothing but essence, right? That a thing is possible does not render it trivially easy. And yet... Her head bobs, eyes dimming slightly in thought. I'm not sure what else I can say. Maybe you win, maybe you don't, but at least you tried. Even you must understand that inaction is sometimes the wisest action. She's afraid of trying it. Ah, well, if there is something else to talk about, let's talk about something else. The great reptile's head counts to one side as she eyes me. Well, I suppose that uh, there is nothing else to talk about. I don't think that either one of us is going to be leaving here as we came in. Let's get this over with. We attack.
The creature's laughter echoes in my mind. I feel this fight's gonna be a little bit more difficult. All right, you dare go get her. All right, so we have support. Vatner, you're gonna be the one to run around. This should be the closest one. Oh, look at him jump over there. So, apparently the king's going to summon a wave for us. Whatever that's going to do. I would like to get over here. Do not rush him. He's creating a wave. Okay. Well, let's go over here. What can Wide One do? And then there's this one over here. Can you get over there? Oh, looks like he has to run all the way over here. Whoa, that's from Wide One. This is no simple task. That looked like it hurt. Shoti, Shoti, why are you right up here? All right, so I'm gonna take. What is this? Mouth char. Reduces the damage I take and increases the damage with my weapons. Okay, Shoti's back in her spot that she's supposed to be. Considering you're wearing just priestly robes. Go! Prove your strength. I shall prepare the chains. Chains. This thing should be flanked. Is that the change? Well, it's, we're hurting it. Takes a while for the wave to come back, so I guess we should be getting ready for it. Yeah. Watch where you're going. Just right here. Ow. What was that about? This isn't as effective as you seem to think. Ouch. I think I'll use my healing. Be nice if I could fear this creature, but I don't think that that's ever gonna happen. Just like that. Let's go. No good. Prepare yourself for there we go. Like none you have ever seen. Oh! Uh, was that the tidal wave? <laughs> Running the best waves takes time. Was that it? Okay, well, regardless, we need the help. Do not rush your king. Or we did. Wait till Widewind is ready. Come, Watcher. Okay. The fury of the God Hammer is ready. Of course. I need time, Watcher. This is no simple task. Well, we're hurting it. I mean, that's all I care about. Happens to everyone. Let's go. Use this. It will change your tone as I was changed. Nice to see everybody's participating in this fight. Whoa, whoa. Get away from Shoti. I got hurt there too. I'll try using one of these healing potions. I shall prepare the chain. Ah. Let's go. Oh, good. 
you're back amongst the living. Sort of. Oh, it likes me. I must. I still have the mouth char. I can taste it in my mouth. It's effective. I need something to heal myself, though. That didn't seem to work. Sweet redemption. Shodi, what are you doing to get his attention? Okay, I suggest you move. Fire, we can use that. Of course. That was about as useful as a bum ah. on a I need time, Watcher. This is no simple task. Okay, so what about using lightning? Use this! We'll chain your bow as I was chained! Shodi, you're gonna have to do it. He's paralyzed. Time to rethink stratagem! Ah, he fell. This dragon seems to be able to do an enormous amount of damage to us. Even when it's not nearby us. Fury of the God Hammer. Do not rush your king. Lessons be upon you. I need time, Watcher. This is no simple task. I think that was enough to bring it down. The dragon heaves before me, fallen to her knees, her four claws scraping at her gaunt ribcage as her putrid flesh buckles and twists at the mercy of the arcane energies contained within. The beast throws back her head and howls. Tear the phylactery from her chest. I shove my hand deep in the worm's desiccated chest even as her talons gouge my back. I grasp the relic, its warmth pulsing through my fingers, and rip it from the dragon's breast. I got it, but I took an injury. The dragon's neck twists turning her head that she might cast a single, balefully glowing eye upon me. 
Everything must come to an end. I guess with Remigrand, everything must have an end. Though I don't agree with that. Oof. Back into the real yeah, cold. Right. What is this? Oh. Scales, reptilian blood, we've got a lot of items that we can probably use. Now I'm very hurt. I've been maimed. Not good. Mm -hmm. uh, I took a real nasty claw to the back. We've got to get out of the void. Rimmergan better fulfill. The heart of the white void. I never thought I'd see it. Not truly. He shudders and wraps his arms around his torso. Isn't your entire faith predicated on the inevitability of death? It's a long track from knowing you'll die and truly understanding it. Also, I'm not dead yet. Streams of essence snake through the space around me. The only splashes of color in an otherwise infinite blank expanse of whiteness. The colorless earth, or perhaps ice, rises from impossible depths into blunted spires each worn away by incessant wind. This imagery... Do you think Rimergon chose it? Or did it predate him? Interesting. I have no idea, actually. Or perhaps our expectations determine our perception of this place. Could be true, as well. She taps slightly on her chin, frowning. Her short, white hair whips about her head like a halo. It's not like you to sound so nervous. I'm not usually staring directly into the inevitable ending of all things. Isn't this what you wanted? Release from the wheel. I... She blinks, Carmine eyes falling to the frozen ground. I may have misunderstood what I wanted. I am scientist enough to recognize and admit when I've erred. Many scholars and scientists have difficulty reconciling the dogma of the gods with the unbiased approach demanded by our studies. <laughs> Science and history alike, however, bear out the philosophy of Remergand. Everything decays. Everything ends. The beast of winter cleanses all. Her head lists to the left. You pursue a mad god across a foreign sea, at risk from pirates, wilder, and monsters of the deep. Do you merely seek vengeance? Or do you believe you do the God's will? If I can prevent Aethys from doing more harm, I will. How beneficent. Her smile stops well short of her eyes. Well, it's true. Let us carry on, before this place saps our will. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.